This next story takes us back in time to when a tall flowing fountain was the crown jewel of Capitol Square Park in Macon. It's not there anymore, but as 41 NBC's Amanda Castro tells us, a first grader is doing her part to bring it back. At a small table set up on a sidewalk near Tattle Square Park. Which book do you want? Let's see here. You'll find six-year-old Eliza Grace on a mission. Would you like to buy a book for the fountain? The first grader walks through the park every day on her way to school. And she's noticed some changes. I really love the lamps and the new sidewalk and the stairs. But she doesn't love this flagpole. It doesn't look very good. It just looks like garbage. And I said, do you know what's going to be in the center of the park one day? And she said, no. I said, They're, they want to put a fountain there. And she said, oh, that would be much prettier than that flagpole. A hundred years ago, this used to be a beautiful spot. The fountain was on um, postcards. The throne for Macon's crown jewel. It was featured in paintings. Um, this was a really important park for Macon. But it was removed in the 1960s. That is salvage when the park began to make its uh, final downturn. And all that's left of it is this frog. You know, when you have the centerpiece of one of your gems in downtown Macon looking like this with a bare flagpole, two little tiny bushes, and a dirt road running straight through it, it's a shame. Andrew Silver, with friends of Tattnall Square Park, is trying to fix that, and Eliza Grace is helping. So only one or two dollars. She's counting the money she makes on her fingers. Twenty-nine. And she's donating every cent to the new fountain. How many books do you think you got to sell? A lot. I'm really proud of her that she, you know, is taking that initiative and sees things in the community that she wants to help and make it better. Thank you. With every sale. She's closer to completing her mission, bringing this frog back home. In Macon, Amanda Castro, 41, NBC News. Silver hopes to have the new fountain within the year. Friends with Tattnall Square Park is asking for your help to raise $200,000. We posted a link with more information on our website, 41NBC.com.